Well, hello, friends, and welcome to another video. We're back. I'm still stuck on this project. I can't let it go. Anyway, it came to my attention that one of the more important things that Sarah sells is jewelry and earrings, as well as necklaces with stones in them and stuff. So what did I do? I tore apart an entire um, grocery shelf, and I trimmed it so that now it fits flush there so we'll get another shelf i also ordered tiny tiny little um like jewelry mannequin chests and we've got barbie earrings so we're gonna paint these to look more witchy sarah is supposed to send me some teeny teeny tiny feathers because she does big feathery earrings anyways we have this to build up we have earrings to make we have our cash register that I painted off camera. This is a Easter egg, we'll call it, that Sarah knows what that means. But here's our beautiful cash register to put here. And I also got Sarah's possum, the super cute little um, clipboard, because generally uh, her dad, who is, you know, largely unhelpful, um, he will tally things as they sell. And we get to try to interpret that, or she does, and I get to enjoy listening to her try. Oh, we also have to make a rack. These are our stand-in uh, crystal grids. But we need to make a something of like a plate rack here so that it can hold like two or three grids just like that. Maybe we'll graduate it, make it really hard for ourselves. I don't hate that idea. Um, so we need to make a rack for like three of those, glue some stuff down, paint a shelf. Yeah, we have lots of stuff that we can do. And uh, make earrings, and also make little earring holders for the earrings. That should be both fun and easy. I'm going to have to go get all my cabochons out, aren't I? Because those are the only things that are going to be tiny enough to fit on that. Alright, well, here we go, and uh, this will be semi-chaotic because you know we're just trying to finish some stuff off while we wait for everybody else to finish their parts so away we go
And we're back. And sorry if my voice sounds weird. Tis the season for me to be dying of allergies, and that is what is happening. Uh, anyway, we um, have got our little um, mannequin... I don't remember. They're called dummies, maybe? I forget what they're called, but it's what you hang jewelry on in a shop. And we have them with the little bracelets there. I had to do a bit of adjustment on the bracelets because... The super glue was not making enough contact with the pointy bits of the pyrite, so I had to switch to UV resin, and that worked, so that's fine. Um, I found the previously lost checklist, which was lost somewhere on my desk, and now we have our rack set up for whenever the uh, crystal grids get sent to us. I also ordered something that will pass nicely as a... Um, a pendulum to go over the crystal grids. Anyway, now I think I need to get to work in the department of um, earring customization because I think that we will put earrings along this back shelf and then maybe just put like two pairs back here. I don't want to get too much more busy in that area, but I think we can do the earrings now and um, Keep a forging ahead, and then something else we'll have to go through and do at some point is go and paint over the little glue smudges where things did not stick perfectly or I overglued. Anyway, that worked out pretty great, and now we can move on to customizing some earrings together. I have a variety of sparkly bits and whatnot. Yes, we'll also have to cut some wood down to make little square pieces of wood for the earrings to hang upon. It's going well. We're getting a lot of things checked off the list this time. Oh, my, my, my list is under a saw. Where is the list? List? It's like book, but it's list. Where are you, list? He doesn't need singing. He's not fancy. Um, we made the crystal grid holder. We made the jewelry shelf. We made the necklace mannequins the cat screaming please just ignore that we glued down the register we glued down the checklist and that was the same thing as that so that's a double oh my gosh the cat is yelling all right well let's get going on the other portions of this and i'll see you in a few minutes
All right. Well, I think that this is where I'm going to leave it for the day because despite waiting a whopping three to four days for Sarah to send me feathers, it, they have not arrived. She has a life and I understand that, but um, I will have to pause because I need my table and I have to move this and I have to pretend that it's at least at a stopping point. And to do that, I have to stop filming for this episode. So, you know, mentally, oh, don't mind that. We just, we have to turn that calico critter into a possum in another video. Uh, anyway, we did really good. I think that the flocking came out super duper cute on all of our jewelry back there. I kind of boxed myself in, you may have seen. Um, this just won't quite settle where I want it to be unless I turn it on an angle. And I guess I could do that, but I don't like it as much as if I didn't. And then the other earrings will not be going on to their hooks until we have them from Sarah. But then this one would go here. Maybe turned isn't so bad. Maybe I'll put it in there turned. Let me know if you think that's too much. I mean, I know it's too much. It's a very busy shelf, but you, you know what I mean. And then we have our one sitting on the side shelf there, down in that general locale. And I uh, almost glued that one to my hand. First near miss on the glue for me. Uh, so nearly glued my hand to that. But uh, the other ones, we have two more to fill the rest of the shelf. So that we have a little variete. And they are all flocked as well. Because I wanted the textures to match. Because someone will notice and that person is me. I am the only person who will notice. But I think all of our little earrings came out super cute embellished with all of the nail charms. You know what? I have found more uses for nail charms in my crafting career than any other object, probably. These ones did not come out my favorite. We might skip these little stud ones. They're just a little wonky. We'll see how a feather looks on them. And of course, we have our other one, which we will be putting in the back over there. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, you know, uh, another round of chaos with me and I hope you will tune in for another video we have a whole possum to denude and dress um, and shave the ears off of we have the jewelry to finish when we got our feathers we have a mannequin head coming um, I want to decide on something to go around the doors we have signs I actually found where is it I found a a thread bobbin that Sarah made when I was helping her make kits and I was thinking I could chop that into a sign if she didn't have time to make me one. I'm very impatient. I like to get things done. Um, and that becomes everyone's problem apparently. Anyway, uh, I think it's looking good. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments on what you think of the new additions. I am very happy with them. I think they look very slick back there. <sighs> I just, I wanted to have two sets of earrings back there, but then it's blocking part of the necklace, but is, is the necklace really losing that much by doing that? I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'll leave it unglued. And I hope I have earned your like or subscribe today. And if I did, I hope you will leave a comment or a like and, uh, you know, let me know what you think of the progress. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!